<laughs> They're running! You can't hide! <laughs> Come on! We're coming home! We're coming home! Is there any way that you could sort of just sort me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work? In here? Could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? Hey buddy. How's it going? All right, see ya. Good. Ooh, there we go. Good. Good morning, guys. Fall is definitely in the air. It's chilly in Maine right now. It's been about 50 degrees this morning. Today, I decided that I wasn't quite done with mackerel fishing. So, I don't need the fly rod. Kind of nippy this morning. All right, let's get going. So if you can't tell, I'm in a little bit of a hurry this morning. That is because I stayed up way too late last night and today high tide is pretty early. So I got up anyway. But today we are going for some mackerel. Of course, I love mackerel and I want to try one more thing before the season's over. And that is to make some smoked mackerel. Smoked mackerel has to be one of the most suggested comments and I have never tried it. So before this season's over, I need to try smoked mackerel and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. But we made it to the coastline and I'm gonna get right out to the spot because I don't wanna miss this prime time to catch these mackerel. Whoa, these rocks are about as slick as they get. start off the day, I am going to use the same bait that I always do. I did put out a video that kind of goes through this in a little more detail anyway. I always hook up one of these sabiki rigs. It's just some simple plastic and hooks, something bright and shiny. The mackerel love that stuff. On the bottom of the sabiki rig to add some weight and then a little more flash to attract these mackerel, I always use these diamond jigs that work extremely well. I've always had good luck with this. And I'm gonna rig that up so we can get right out there. It is high tide right now. Don't wanna miss the best time. And this is when I can pull out those big stringers with all kinds of mackerel. All right, let's go fishing. Okay, well the first one isn't what we're looking for. Uh, this is a tiny little harbor pollock. Not what we want. These are pretty tasty though. He's not exactly the size that we'd want, so I'm gonna throw him right back, but they are a cool fish. Anyway, back he goes. Oh, there we go. What do we got here? A bunch of harbor pollock. What the hell? How can I be catching so many? Three harbor pollock. Maybe I need to just fry these guys instead. These make an awesome fish sandwich. I had so many on there, I thought for sure that that was a mackerel. Gotta keep at it. Another harbor pollock. There's so many of you guys, what's going on? Another one. Oh my god. Why are they so small? What is this? <laughs> I've never caught so many harbor pollock in my life. They're everywhere. And they're all this size. But every single one is right about that size. It doesn't make any sense to me. I like the bronze coloring that they have. It's pretty cool. And they are a delicious fish. Just not the target fish. All right, we got the first mackerel. <laughs> that took forever. So happy. I caught so many harbor pollock. I don't know what the deal is with those harbor pollock right now. Yes. I've never been so excited to catch a mackerel. 
And that still didn't take long. I've been here 10 minutes, something like that. I would catch Harbor Pollock every single cast. This is our target species, finally. It's a cool looking fish. Glad we finally hooked up to one. So, one down, 29 to 40 to go. We got our second mackerel. We're only catching them one at a time, which worries me. How am I ever gonna get 30? Hopefully my friends join pretty soon because I'm gonna need some help. Two mackerel. Woo! Still one at a time, but the schools are here. That's what's important. All right, good news. Number three. Check it out, it's a seal. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, I hope that guy's having a little more luck than I am. I mean, there's a lot of harbor pollock around, but uh, as far as mackerel goes, I really haven't caught that many. My friend Mike's gonna be here any minute. I gotta go and meet up with him in order to show him the spot, because there's no way he's gonna find his own way out here. It's just not gonna happen. Talk about good timing. Right? Surprised he found a spot. Yeah. This place fills up quick. They were pretty picked over in the only place that was open. Where'd you go? Well, I went to Walmart first and I got this reel, but I shouldn't have. Why? Um, I went to this place called Wiley's in Ellsworth and they had like everything Wiley's? under the sun. Yeah, it's in that strip mall, like right across oh, from really? Friend and Friend. Well, thanks. I actually didn't know there was a fishing place Yeah, dude, they had everything. Um, Sweet. Tons of stuff. I, I should have waited and got a better reel there. For, I just wanted to get a new one because it's going to be my saltwater one. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have this one. It's a little heavy for mackerel, but the mackerel bite's actually not that good today. It was good during high tide and then died off instantly. Is it only good at high tide? Or? Well, it's good on rising tides. And rising uh, tide was at like right 5 o'clock. And I wasn't feeling that. Is it, it's pretty calm. I mean, we could take the boats out. Oh, it's bad out there. Uh, With Dorian. Uh, there are some uh, big uh, rogue uh, waves that are coming through. So is this the stuff? Yeah, yeah. Little Sabiki rigs. Those are perfect, yeah. I didn't know what size jig, oh, so nice. I got three different These sizes. are awesome. Good call. I use... Oops. And then I don't know what this is, but... I use three-fourths, but this one, it's easier to cast. Uh, those are good, too. Yeah. Mackerel will bite just about anything. Yeah, this would be a bad place to fall, though. Yeah. It can go bad just very go, quickly. Just go for the rocks, and I'll, I'll cast you a line. Yeah, the, so the pollock hide right in those kelp weeds. So if you were to cast right along this edge, that's where you'll get them. Pretty big. Probably a couple. Oh, that's a big. Whoa, that's a good one. Hey. What is that? Is that cod? Oh, that's a nice pollock, man. See, that's the size they should be, and I've been catching shrimps. That's lunch right there. Nice, dude. Yeah, keep that. That's lunch. It's not bad. That's, that's big enough to eat. I'd say. They have a. They almost feel kind of like a trout. The skin. I like. I like. I hate scaly fish. Dude, that's a good one. Nice. I've been catching shrimps all morning. And he's pretty fat. Yeah, it's not bad. He's not bad. If that was a trout. He'd be. I'd be excited. I'd be a keeper. In the ocean, everything's different, though. I should probably let him go. I don't know, dude. I don't think we're. Gonna... You hook yourself. Yeah. Dude, these things are deadly. Yeah, sabiki rigs are dangerous. Well there, that's oh. better pollock, it's not huge, but it's gonna eat just fine. All right, so Mike ended up catching actually what was a lot better than the pollock I was catching earlier. So I think what we're gonna do is he, he just went back to go get my brother and they're gonna bring out some potatoes or bread or something that we can cook with the fish. So I think what I'm gonna do while they're gone is just fillet up some fish. And so that way, when they get back, we can just cook them up, have a midday fish fry. Start off with Mike's little Pollock here. I haven't cooked a Pollock on this channel since the first video I've ever made. That's kind of funny. It's been a long time. I might make another one. Well, obviously I kind of am today, but I might target some Pollock sometimes. Some bigger ones if I can figure out how to fish them. That would be cool. You could see how little meat we would get out of those small ones. So hopefully we can catch some more of this size. It's 
especially how many people we're gonna have out here. Definitely could use it. There, a couple fillets. And of course we also have some mackerel that I caught. There's one. I don't know why, but those are much easier. But that's pretty much it. These are ready to eat. Pull out some of these ribs here. You guys deliver? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Sweet. El Rancho. Four miles. El Rancho. Yeah, it's actually like a El Rancho breakfast. Whoa. These are tortillas we can use, and these are eggs. Well, my Sweet. Beans. All right. Where'd you go? Fish tacos. Go, keep going over there. Yeah, there's tons of Pollock. No Cuts, mackerel. The mackerel will come back as the tide starts coming up. Yeah, yeah, and then down nice. here, so you see that ledge? Go stand on that. So you can cast out farther for mackerel, but if you go right here, if you feel like just catching something, watch the weeds, but you just drop right here, and then you just kind of jig it back and you'll catch some. Oh, that's pretty easy. Yeah, but there's tiny, you know, there's nothing special about them. There's one. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, there's a bunch of those. I hope they actually catch a mackerel. Today. You should. All right, I'm gonna go cook. Good luck. Oh, you got one? There you go. Now you have hours of fun. <laughs> What'd you get? Mackerel? Wow! Nice, man. I'm getting away. I'm getting away. One got away. Three <laughs> That's okay. Three mackerel. Holy mackerel! Whoops. Wow, they look good. You got some fish eggs on there? No, that's cayenne. Nice. Okay. Fish is done. I need a spatula. Spatula? Spatula. I guess John brought us some fried rice and eggs, I don't know. We're gonna eat that. It's gonna be a whole lot of weird stuff. How are we gonna eat this? I don't know. I brought chopsticks. You can make chopsticks out of wood. Get it with my hands, like and bushcraft chopsticks. No, no, no. Yeesh. There you go. That came out nice. I like some. Eggs and Heat fish. It up, That's the fish I want. Leg roll. Mm. Pretty good, right? Delicious. For sure. It's not bad, right? Yeah, it's tasty. That kind of reminds me a little bit of the book throughout you caught, John. Similar flavor. Are you guys happy with the beans and rice? Yeah. Delivery service isn't bad. Yeah. The delivery service is I felt good. like that was perfect for the fish. I already had it in the car. It looks really bad, but it tastes pretty good. With the egg and the beans. Yeah, it just looks like slop. <laughs> it is. just shoved fish yeah. in it. Man, I just caught a big mackerel. Down. That was a good sized mackerel. Your dad could smoke that one. He caught more mackerel today than I have so far. Whoa, John is a fish whisperer. Well, you're not really fishing a whole lot up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching Mike. It's the whole game in a I got a new so. gig. I just watch other people catch fish and then I eat them. <laughs> is it caught? It's Pollock here, right? Yeah. What do you think? I might like that more. The Pollock? Yeah. That's the one that they put in pretty much McDonald's burgers. Tastes like, yeah. It tastes I was thinking like, of making a fish sandwich of it one day. You definitely could. Crab cakes or fish cakes. No, yeah. I like the mackerel better. How's it going, Mike? Okay. That was like dry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Filming is a little chaotic with these guys, but that lunch was, it was okay. I know it looked really bad, but it was good. Did he? Now I got a whole fishing squad down here. They're gonna catch me all my mackerel so I can take them home and smoke them. I just casted Ray out that way and got a whole bunch. Yeah. 
don't know that nice. one. Nice. Three. Oh, three good ones. Four, five. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Hurricane. Oh, Holy <laughs> shit. Sorry, if you yeah, hold the rock. <laughs> John is a master fisherman. Who knew? Nah, that was some luck. I'm just murdering fish right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh I'm getting kind of sick of killing fish. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if this was our first date instead of Katahdin. That was my first You want to go fishing? <laughs> it's a beautiful sport. <laughs> Surprised my rod withstood any of that. Walmart, twenty dollars. Ow! Oh. You got this covered. I just feel kind of bad now. I'm just gonna sit back and watch. I feel like people should learn from you instead. <laughs> Cast that way. You have the tiniest rod. And you just brought in 12 fish that are over a foot long. That that those are solid. Sizable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're running! You can't hide! <laughs> Whoa, here comes the wave. <laughs> Come on! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can't even get him with my drag. <laughs> yeah, for the wave. Okay, we're coming home. We're coming home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Oh yeah, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. What the hell? <laughs> All right, There's John. Oh, this fish. guy's big. That's a really big one. Holy Nice. <laughs> These are monsters. Oh, God. They're huge mackerel, dude. What the hell? Lucky day. I'm sorry about this. I truly uh, am. Those are big too. <laughs> These are huge. That is a I solid mackerel. I don't know how mackerel. my rod held up, or like I had to. Look at the size of that. I had to grab the line. Compared to these little ones, we could eat them. If you can catch a few more of these, dude. I don't know how your little rod got this in. I don't know. I had to grab the line. Was like They're so ones. big. <laughs> I'm me. sorry, God. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we brought John along. He was uh, having a hard time catching mackerel earlier, but he is just crushing it today. I mean, he's caught pretty much all of our mackerel, and that's good. So that way, I can go clean the mackerel. John's going to stay there and keep pulling them up. I don't know how he's doing it. He's pulling up six, seven at a time, and not just small mackerel. I mean, these are pretty much as big as mackerel get. So we're going to let him just keep at it and I got a whole fishing squad even Mike's pulling some up and I'm gonna get out there and well I'm not I'm just gonna let them handle that but I'm gonna start cleaning these fish nice fillets oh my goodness that is as good as it gets right there Thought you'd have more than that. Stop catching Mike's them. got like a bunch. I think Mike is six. He reeled in like, yeah. That's good. Do you want to just set them over here? We'll keep going. Where do you want me to put this, John? Thank you. Let's go see how Mike's doing. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Get any fish for me? What? You want to throw the mackerel up? Yeah. There's a couple in there, right? Just noticed that. Filet fish and all. It's a big bag of fish. They'll shrink a lot when we smoke them out. I'm telling you, these are gonna be good. You don't even know. You wanna make a video for it? Yeah. This is gonna be half of it. So it's a Does it look no. clean? No, but like to be <laughs> cleaning the fish with. I mean, oh, it's well, not I that mean, clean. we're gonna cook them. So and this is going in the freezer. So it'll be fine. Yeah. In the back. Because 
feel like it's sitting water. It's well, it's bacteria, bacteria, but it has salt in it too. Yeah. So after you cook them, though, That's all the bacteria is dead. Yeah, Mike's doing pretty well down there. Mike, did you get any more? Nope, just a bunch of pollen. Okay, I think I have enough. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot of fish. This is exactly what I was trying to do. And earlier before Mike came, I didn't think this was gonna work. This is perfect. Almost 10 pounds of fish. For captivity. Did we get a count on how many fish? Uh, I didn't bother count, counting. It was a lot of fish. All right, good job team. You guys really brought home the bacon. All right, what a blast that was. That was a great day of fishing. Started off really slow in the morning, and that was because I missed that rising tide, but we waited till the afternoon, and we were catching just tons of mackerel. My brother was super excited to hook up to those. I'm really excited to take those home, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my dad's smoker and smoke those up and see how it turns out. Everyone's been telling me to do it, so I'm excited to see how those turn out. How long's it been in? Uh, it's been in there since. 6.30, 7 o'clock. So I just do it for about four hours. Oh, I'd say those are done. Yeah, it's fine. All right, smoked mackerel. Hmm, I'm super impressed with this. I didn't know smoked mackerel was gonna be so good, but this is amazing. <laughs> Just when you think they can't get any better. Hmm. Here. You catching more mackerel? Yeah, I might have got a little bit. Hot. Yeah, the bottom did, but we uh, we could have raised the rack up. I didn't. No, that's not. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was going to film uh, making that whole thing, and I brought it home last night. I got here late from Baxter, and I put it in the fridge, and then at 10 at night, Mom says, oh, I'm going to make the brine mix. So she makes that, and then before I even got up this morning, the fish were in the smoker and pretty much done. So <laughs> unfortunately, I wasn't able to film that, but the mackerel are done, and they turned out super well. Uh, I think everyone likes them. My family is kind of under the impression that mackerel is not that good, so... But you both really like best it, Best right? fish. Absolutely the best uh -huh. fish we've ever had. See? I did a good job. They're, they're so good. Really good. Yeah, so... Didn't get to film it because she decided that she was just going to make it last night, and then my dad cooked it at like 5 this morning. So... No food gets left unprocessed in this house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to come up with a recipe to make with it so I can actually film something. So what'd you put in it? Half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of salt, a half gallon of water, three tablespoons of chili powder, three tablespoons of garlic powder, and lemon juice. Hmm. That's pretty simple. Probably half a cup of lemon juice. Turned out pretty good. It's awesome. Yeah. Let it sit overnight. And we got up when Jesse was sleeping, <laughs> laid it on the racks, and stuffed it in the smoker. I don't think I need a knife. You need a knife because you're not dipping it. Why not? No. Mmm. <laughs> really good. Just a, what is it, a dill I and mean, yogurt? Yeah. Goes well. I was going to film making the sandwich. <laughs> the sandwich is already made. You have to tell me. I can't me. film anything here. <laughs> this is why I make videos by myself. I'm sorry, I didn't know you wanted to film the process of making a sandwich. This, this is what this channel is. Okay, well, do you want to know what's in it? The whole thing's a catch and cook, and everything I try to film, I turn around, and the sandwich is made. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You're slow. 
I'm sorry, I tried to make a video, but this I'll is tell just... you what's in it. A, the dill and yogurt sauce, fresh lettuce from the garden, fresh onions from the garden, layered with tomato and your smoked mackerel. That's what I made. I didn't know you were going to get the camera to film it. I think that's gonna be good though. It looks awesome. Yeah, Can I wrap it? Here. Yes. Are you filming? Yes, this time. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. Wow. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Guess I managed to film eating the sandwich. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, so John was catching these by, he caught six at a time on a rod that was barely meant for a six inch brook trout. Six at a time? <laughs> so, and not the little ones, I mean like the one and a half, two foot ones. You got to the school. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really good. That ended up turning out good. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I just didn't get to film any of it. <laughs> well, so anyway, unfortunately I didn't get to film too much because everyone did everything before I even woke up. <laughs> but uh, it turned out really well. Uh, smoked mackerel has to be my favorite way to eat it now. That's. 100% sure. I, I'm surprised how much better it got and I already liked it to begin with. So thank you guys so much for watching. You can always subscribe and if you like this video hit the like button. Alright, see you guys.